Nightfall here at the beach, and as the sun prepares to set behind the waves here at the Ventura County Fairgrounds, one more order of business still to go on our first night here, X Games 2023, as we get set to hand out some medals here in Moto X Best Trick. Welcome everyone inside the booth. My name's Jimmy Coleman. Joining me on this adventure is Blake Vilko Williams. We've got Kristen Beat out there in the field. And well, you see the fans packed into the venue out here. It's been a couple of years since we've had them on site. And with that crowd, it kind of reminds me of the old days, the best trick at the Staples Center in LA. Yeah, the atmosphere is huge. And when it comes to Moto X best trick, you pay for the whole seat, but you only need the edge. There's eight dudes from four different countries, <laughs> three different ramps. And uh, I got a little inside scoop about what's about to go down. And these guys are really going to send it. You're going to be so seeing some never before done. Tricks. Well, let's talk about one of our riders tonight. He owns six medals in best trick. That's Josh Sheehan. He's on a new ride. It's the electric bike this weekend. That's right. I was going to say it might sound a little funny when Josh is out there, but it's actually no sound at all. He's bringing the Stark Bug electric bike. Man, these things have barely been debuted worldwide, and Sheeny's bought one to X Games, and uh, it doesn't seem to affect it at all. He loves the motorcycle, and uh, I'm excited to see it go down. It's that Stark Varg. I watched him in practice yesterday doing some double flips. It's got a little bit of noise. It's a little different, though, because you're used to seeing him on that four-stroke out here. That's not the only new thing here at Moto X Best Trick. And for more on that, let's check in right now with Kristen. Traditionally, the landing at X Games for Moto X Best Trick has been dirt. This year, they developed a hybrid landing, scaffolding foam resin and carpet. Not only is it safer for the riders, but it's also more consistent, and it has emboldened riders like Jackson Strong to kick it up a notch. He just told me that for the past two years, two years, he's been working on a trick in the foam pit. He landed its dirt for the first time just last week. He said, listen, if the conditions are right, he is ready to uncork it here in Ventura, guys. Something to watch. Well, since 2010, that's the last 12 contested events for Moto X Best Trick here at the X Games. Only four people have taken gold. Jackson's got seven of them. Rob Adelberg has three. Levi Sherwood's got one. And David Ronaldo. Let's take a look at that start list. We do need to mention Rob Adelberg not on that list. Tell us why, Bill Kill. Yeah, unfortunately, with the tail winning that yesterday, Rob went a little long and landed so heavy. Actually, jarred his neck. He went to the hospital, got checked out. Luckily, it wasn't too serious. But unfortunately, your double gold medalist from last year will not be starting. So, all best of wishes to Rob. Well, Jackson's going to ride last. You got David Ronaldo, who wowed everybody with a brand new body burial and a backflip in Minneapolis in 2019. He's in the lineup as well. He'll go second to last in the rotation. Yeah, I'm so excited to see David Ronaldo go. You know, 2018 Minneapolis, no one knew what trick he was going to do, and he surprised everyone with that backflip Cali roll, and uh, it, it was quite a treat to watch. Look at the fans weighing in right there in the bottom left-hand side of the screen there. Moto X Best Trick is my favorite event in the X Games. Let's go. One of my two, and I, you, know, you kind of get the goosebumps. The hair on your arm stands up a little bit when you see these guys locked and loaded, ready to send it out here tonight. You never know what's going to happen. And as you mentioned, you're teased it, talking about some tricks that we've never seen before. Yeah, for sure. And I love this event, but it also makes me the most nervous. You know, I'm good friends with all the riders, and I know what they're about to do. Some, as you said, never been done before. And... Uh, Best tricks, no joke. The consequences are huge, but you got the best in the world right now, and uh, they're going to throw down. Uh, it looks like Taka Higashino getting lined up right here. Now, he was an alternate for this one. As we talked about, Rob Adelberg had to sit this one out. Uh, wish him a speedy recovery, but Taka comes in as the first alternate, and now he finds himself in the lineup. He's going to set the bar out here tonight. You're going to get two attempts at it here. It's a 100-point scale. It is your best run that counts. Trip Tucker there, rough solid backflip, arms completely off the seat. So he's floating upside down, not even holding onto the motorcycle. Best, first one to do it, and the best to do that trick. Take a bow, Tucker, son. It's just amazing to do that in the middle of a backflip, and the extension that he has on that, how he holds on to it. Let's, Let's take another some... look. Awesome shot from the drone there, as you can see, completely letting go of the motorcycle. Look at this. Grabs the seat with one hand, back with the other hand, gets settled, and then boom. Yeah, that is amazing. Like once the hands come off, he just stretches those legs out right there, gets full extension on that one. He owns two medals total in best trick. He has a silver, he has a bronze. As I mentioned before, the best possible score you can get is 100. Taka Higashino sets the bar at 82 flat right there. Yeah, good, solid, consistent trick there for Taka. He's been doing that a long time. But uh, recently, that's the uh, the Levi Sherwood Next Generation Freestyle Ramp we should talk about. It's still 72 feet, but if you notice, the uh, the ramp's a little taller. 
Similar to the 75, except the uh, top of the ramp goes an extra three feet, making it steeper and taller, and obviously a lot more height, a lot more time for their tricks. Well, you've got three different options out here. You got that next gen ramp on the rider's left. In the middle, you got the USA comp ramp that's set at 75 feet, and on the far right hand side, you've got that super kicker right there. We're going to bring in our first Australian into the lineup right here. This is Benny Richards. And speaking of the super kicker, that's what Benny's is going to elect to use. So smooth. He was a little nervous. He did that couple in the foam pit at Jacko's uh, last week, and they weren't the best. So he now was ha happy to get the monkey off his back there. We did best trick at X Games Japan back in May, and he missed that one. He had a broken left collarbone that he suffered a week before. So happy to have him back in the lineup. I mean, look how perfect that was. Yeah, you can see his foot off there a little bit. Elbows fully bent, tucked in. He was speeding up the rotation as much as he could, but landed perfectly on the wheels. And a lot of the riders have mentioned that landing is fairly steep, and it actually suits the guys that are hitting the super kicker a little better. All right, so again, Taka set the pace there with an 82 flat. Judges waiting to talk this one over here as we await the score here for Benny Richards. Where do you, where do you slide this one into the mix? Do you think this is going to come out? I think he'll put himself in the lead with that one. Put a smile on the dial, Benny. I just meant in the overall number-wise. I was uh, I was, getting, I was right. trying to get you to be a little more discreet there than you that. Go. Thanks, Eight. Captain Obvious. 81-3-3. So that's not. He's gonna, that's going to slide him in there behind Taka, so an 81.33 there on the double flip. Seems like the judge is rewarding the uh, next generation ramp a little bit better. He looked a little confused by that one right there. As we take a look at J.O. Archer right here, he ended up in sixth place in best trick here in 2021. Now a little nervous for this guy. He's about to do a trick that he hasn't done in practice yet. He did it about two weeks ago at Travis Pastrana's house. And uh, he's about to set it now, but I mean, Joe, he's built like a brick supermarket. He's uh, he's good to go for this one. Okay, here we go. J.O. Archer about to be under power here for attempt number one again to get two attempts. It's your best run the count. Second one around, and yes. there you go. Oh! That was an amazing save. I thought he was going down for sure. I, I thought he was going to slide out as well. That was a heck of a save by J.O. Archer. And that's the first 75-foot backflip off the next-gen ramp done in competition. See, he's stalled it out so much in the middle of that. When we get the slow-mo, we'll, uh, we'll talk about that. He's still over-rotated a little, but you can see how much he stalled that double flip out. By stalling out, I mean, they get their body weight, stand straight up, try and, uh, you know, make more of a less center of gravity, slow the rotation down. Got a little sideways a little bit there, but it's going to say he got a little off axis on that rotation. Here, right here from this angle, you'll be able to tell on the two box right yeah, here what happens on the landing. His legs fully straight, weight over the front of the motorcycle. That's to slow the rotation down. He was obviously coming in hot, still slowed it down, but little over rotate, and then foot on the back brake pedal Whoa. there. Did you see that back tire slide? Just steezing that one out a little bit. Ah. Hang on. Almost runs into the top blocks right there, but rides away clean. Amazing save. Uh, lucky for that carpet there. I think that's about what saved him. It's the sigh of relief on that face right there. We'll see what the judges think of J.O.'s first attempt right here. Again, Taka Higashino in that top spot with that rock solid flip. It's got him in 82. We saw Benny Richards with an 81.33 with a double flip. And the judges like it, Bilko. It's an 86 flat. J.O. Archer finds himself in the top spot. I like Woo! that too. And I was really nervous for Jay on that one, but he stomped it. ever Moto X best trick appearance. So the at X Games on this fine Friday night. I like that emoji right there. Yes, indeed. We're going to take our first look at a German rider here. This is Luke Ackerman. He owns a freestyle gold and silver. He also happens to own a own best trick bronze as well. It's another one of those fans weighing in right there. Moto X best trick. He is going Opting to use the lead by ramp and perfectly executed front flip there. Man, it's amazing uh, how much easier it looks to do a front flip off the next generation ramp as opposed to the regular 75. We've seen him throw down the double backflip and combos in the past, but taking it forward this time around, Luke Ackerman sending it into the front flip. Check out the weight transfer off the ramp there. Locks the rear and the front brake. Both tires stalled out, fully committed, coming down, and that is a pretty damn smooth executed front flip. I mean, look at the look at the height that he got. Look at how tucked in over the bars he is. And watch the landing just past that roller. He's lucky he's a big, strong guy. The handlebars would have been tearing on his arms right there. But amazing rider, Luke. Very young, too. You know, he's got a lot of years left in him. 
Dalek, 25 years old. This is his fifth appearance here at the X Games in 2023. So we saw J.L. Archer with an 86. Look at that. Luke Ackerman finds himself in the top spot with an 88 flat. So it's Luke Ackerman, J.L. Archer, and Taka Higashino. You're one, two, three as of right now. This is the first round out of two for those of you that are just joining us here at Moto X Best Trick. Eight athletes, two runs each. It's your best run that counts. Max score you can get is 100. Bilko, let's talk about some of the things, the criteria, if you will, the judges want to see in that booth. Well, one of the biggest things for Best Trick is innovation. You want to be the first person to do something. And like Ronaldo's technique, keep him what he's doing a secret. Nobody knows. The other guys, you know, we've got a fair idea what they're going to do. But so far, we've seen a double backflip off the super kicker, a double backflip off the next generation ramp, a front flip, and a rock solid flip. So a huge variety in there. As you can see, Harry on the screen now, he's uh, sporting some battle scars on his neck. He had a crash in the warm-up about half an hour ago. Well, he was trying something new. He was going for a backflip body barrel. There was Instagram clips of him trying that into the foam. And then he, he said, I talked to him yesterday. He's like, I wasn't even close. I decided to show that. Let's see what he goes with here. Still rotating very slow. He was Man. talking about a front flip variation maybe, but that was a super slow rotation on that front flip. Yeah, he did not get the pop he needed and the spin off the ramp. And unfortunately, with any flip tricks, front or backwards, if you don't get the rotation off the ramp, it's really hard to get that thing to come around. It's a lot heavier than a BMX bike, that's for sure. But it's good to see Harry on his feet. He's a tough guy, Harry. You know, he's built solid, trains hard. Puts in a lot of effort for practice, but unfortunately for Harry, that one didn't go too well, but he's up and back on his bike. That's good to see. Yeah, he got up from that one very, very quick. That was impressive for how he bounced on his back out of that one. I mean, but that guy is a machine. I mean, I've seen him get stacked up before, and for him to come back and take his second runner, I've seen him do that in shows before. You have too. Yes. I mean, to, and get back, and then the next thing you know, he's back in the queue, and he's ready to go again. I mean, that dude is, is an animal. Yeah, he always surprises you, and tonight I'm actually surprised he's wearing a shirt for once, so good job, Harry. So we've got Josh Sheehan at due up next in the line. We talked about that electric bike, we're about to see it, but before we get to his run, let's check in one more time with Tristan. Yeah, so this is a bit technical, but the start electric bike can be tuned for any mapping. So instead of referring to it as a 250 or a 450, it has 80 horsepower, and it is tuned to have more torque than a 450, which when I spoke with Josh, he said um, it helps the bike in its rotations and it actually is helping him in best trick. So uh, the start bike in some ways is an advantage for him here in this discipline. It's just so crazy to stand there and listen to it because you're used to hearing him on that four stroke and it's so loud. So to see him out there on that bike yesterday and doing double flips with that thing, I mentioned at the top of the show, he owns six total medals at best trick. He's got two silver, he's got four bronze. So you can see a little bit of course maintenance going on right now on the landing right there after what happened with Harry on that front flip. So when he crashed in uh, the warm before, it actually tore some of the carpet. So I know the guys were out there putting a couple of extra staples, bolts, whatever you call it, to hold that carpet in. Yeah, and as Kristen said at the top of the show, I mean, this is completely different. Typically in the past, we've had just a solid dirt landing for that. So this one's a hybrid. You've got some scab, you've got some foam, you've got some resi there. But uh, here we go. Josh Sheehan is lining up. Again, it's Luke Ackerman, the German rider, sitting in the top spot with an 88 flat, followed by the Australian, J.O. Archer. And then you've got the Japanese rider, Taka Higashino, sitting in bronze medal contention right now with an 82 flat. I'm just excited to see this bike take off. It's like the silent assassin, the way it creeps <laughs> along. So it kind of, kind of sounds like an RC car when it's in the air. Oh. So what do you think? Yeah, we know he's got the double backflip on lock. We've seen plenty of double backflip combos out of him. Walk the plank. What do you think Sheeny brings to the party tonight? I think he's bringing a double backflip combo off the super kicker. Okay, so Ryder's right hand side into the super kicker. There you go, taking the hands off two roots. Oh, 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 oh. Very oh, heavy on the front end. Just got that rotation around. I don't think Sheeny was too worried about it, but it didn't land as cleanly as he'd like. But that. I was a little nervous. That was kind of scary looking right there. He squeaked that front tire around just in the nick of time right there. Ah, wow. But again, I mean, did you see where the hands came off and how long he kept them off? Watch. Right there, holds it solid. It's funny, there's no uh, no clutch lever, if you notice on there. He's obviously got the green light, green means go. But uh, yeah, well done, shit. Oh, his hands nearly blew off the bars. If we see that in the slow-mo, yeah. right when he's about to land. You'll get a better look at it here in the flow motion, but watch, he goes, puts the hands back on, and then pulls back on the bars to get into that second rotation. Gives it a big rev with the throttle. You see his left there. 
And then... Oh, he, oh. Did, he nose dabbed that one. Oh, my goodness. Lucky he's built strong. You only gave a great for that, even after bringing that one around? Uh, yeah, that was great. That was good. You're, you're tough to impress. I didn't even... You're, you're stealthy. I didn't even see you slide that one in there. So Josh is going to get in with an 86.66, so that'll slide him into that silver medal spot that bumps Taka out. But now it's Ackerman, Sheehan, and J.O. Archer, your top three. With two riders left to go in the rotation, David Rinaldo, we talked about that backflip body burial that he did in Minneapolis in 2019. It got him a gold medal there. I'm excited for this one, Jimmy. No one knows what he's about to do. I don't even know. You don't know. He I was very tight-lipped about it. He kept that one close to the vest. Either way, he, uh, we, we have heard that he has, does have something brand new that he's about to bestow upon us out here tonight under the lights. I'm excited for this one. of Chuck Carruthers' body build. Did we just see a version of the Corolla? I think we saw a variation of the Corolla. Corolla. We haven't seen that since 2004. Ironically, he's in the judges' yeah. booth. Chuck Carruthers did that in Moto X Best Trick back in the Staples Center in 2004. No one's done that again, including Chuck, and we just saw a variation of it by that man right there. David Ronaldo has once again made Moto X Best Trick history. And the fans here at Ventura are loving it. I'm loving it. Jimmy's loving it. That was amazing. I mean, on the first try, I couldn't really tell what was going on through that. I'm looking forward to seeing some slow mo It was hard to tell on the monitor here. Take a look. Oh, my God. He almost didn't get back around. He wow. Was, he was not holding onto the motorcycle for a long portion of the time. As you see it here, grabs with opposite hands, slowly, fully round. And right there, go, if we go back a little bit, you can see him fully disconnected from the motor. Right there. He's not holding on to anything, ladies and gentlemen. He is rotating his body around. That's for a good, solid amount of time. He's not connected to anything. Spots the seat, grabs on with both. One hand, one hand straight to the throttle. Man, that was amazing. Take your hat off, take a bow, David Ronaldo. I mean, that was absolutely insane. And again, to tell the tale of that trick, we haven't seen it since 2004. And, we and saw he just does a variation of it right here. We saw an attempt in 2005, and Chuck got hurt yeah. on that one. So, yeah, we're talking 19 years since anyone's oh, attempted that trick. Enough, 97. So David Ronaldo is 97 flat, puts himself in the top. That's insane. That's it. And that's it. We're flashing back to 2019 all over again. That is going to be very tough to beat. I mean, that might have just done it right there. However, it's not done oh, just yeah. yet. Our next rider owns seven gold medals in this event. Before he takes his run, let's see what's inspiring Jackson Strong to compete in Moto X Best Trick. Best trick moments that inspired me to compete in X Games was Deegan's Militia Twist in 2003. Don't quote me on that. Best trick at X Games was kind of my, my entry into the sport. My first X Games was actually Staples Center LA 2011 and I got a gold medal there doing the first front flip. So to see where, what, what are we now, like 12 years later, to playing the same game, doing the same thing again. It's just been a roller coaster of emotions. There's been so many bad years and so many good years. So I'm just looking to try and put another good one on that list. I mean, can you, to go back that far, I mean, 2011, he did that front flip all the way back in 2011. He just came off of a win at X Games Japan with a no-handed front flip. Jackson, and, definitely one of the best at this competition, clearly by the amount of medals he's won. He, he doesn't mind putting it on the line, and he has for years, and he knows what he's doing out there. I'm really excited for this one. What is Jackson going to bring to the party tonight? Oh, 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 Amazing. Amazing. Off the next gen ramp, that was incredible. You see him get his feet up there, get him blocked, and uh, man, I'm speechless. It's the first time we've seen that in competition off a regular ramp. I mean, to do a front flip and then to go into that position with the cliffhanger where your feet are under the bars, you're letting go. You're totally upset, upsetting the rotation roll. To do the front foot, they have to get all their weight forward. And to do that, you know, he spreads out and, and raises the center of gravity to the point where it's going to slow the rotation down. I don't know how you have the time to do that while managing that front flip rotation. See, his front wheel is still locked up through that whole jump there. Coming down, he spots the landing and pretty damn smooth for Jacko. Well done. 
I mean, look at that. The judges have their work cut out for him here tonight. Man, I mean, that, that's two in a row. That's two brand new tricks with the last two riders right there. And we still have round two coming up. But again, I mean, what we saw with Ronaldo, that 97 is going to be hard to beat. But hold on, we're still waiting for the score here for Jackson Strong. And that's the beauty of best trick is never being done before tricks. And so far, we've seen three of them. He gets into the 90s. It's a 95.66, but that's not going to be enough to put him in the top spot for right now. So we have gone through the run order here for round number one. It's David Ronaldo and Jackson Strong creeping into the 90s, unleashing two brand new tricks. It was Ronaldo with a version of the Corolla here, and then Jackson Strong with a new front flip combo. We've got round two from Moto X Best Trick when we come back to Ventura. Must go lighting. We make it happen. Visiting Ventura? Check out the Grant Park. With the sparkling city below and the deep blue Pacific Ocean beyond, Grant Park is an iconic landmark in Ventura. Drive up or walk up, the choice is yours. But make sure you pause to take in the beautiful view along the way. For more adventure, take a walk down the Ventura Pier, California's oldest, built in 1872. You can walk towards the horizon and watch surfers catch waves along the shore. You'll start to feel that old school California charm kick in with each passing step. It is time for history. If you are not standing up at home, I would get off the couch. Back in the Moto X Best Trick history books, that was at the Staples Center in 2006. Did you see that reaction by Salema Masakela? That was Travis Pastrana doing the first ever double backflip. Man, that was my first ever X Games, and just watching that footage, I got pins and needles right now. That's that was a 10-minute standing ovation from a packed Staples Center. The whole thing was crazy. Who got third place that night I as well? Yeah, I, might have, I might have got third place that night. 
So right now, before we get into round two here from Moto X Best Trick, let's check in one more time with Kristen. A never before seen trick with clean execution by Jacko Strong. What is the emotional response after you land something like that? It's just that you got the weight of the world on your shoulders. It's such a such a, um, a fit, such a physically hard and such a mentally hard trick. So to get it done tonight, I think honestly the fans are what made making it easiest for making it easy for us here tonight. Just the energy in the crowd here. We're on the beach. It's epic. Well, Jacko, thank you so much, and best of luck in that second round. He was over signing autographs just a few minutes ago for all the fans yelling Jacko behind him. Yeah, going back to what we were talking about earlier, I mean, that's part of the, the magic of tonight, having the fans back out there, and everybody's so accessible. Let's talk about this, though. There's a 97 for David Ronaldo, and then a 95.66 with Jackson Strong. Two brand new tricks. Let's explain this. Why the difference in the score? What made the difference there? Well, the Corolla Ronaldo did hasn't been seen for 15 years, probably longer, and he did it perfectly executed, and the time he floated above the motorcycle without holding on to anything was crazy. Jacko, the front flip cliffhanger, it wasn't the biggest extended cliffhanger but if he can get that bigger in the next run he should tap top Ronaldo but I think the fact that his cliffhanger wasn't huge is the reason Ronaldo is sitting on top right now. Did you see that last looking from the fans they're staying up late in Ireland to watch this one tonight we get ready to send it to round number two once again with Taka and Kishido. Rule backflip from Taka. Beautiful extension there. He's just having some fun out here tonight like we said earlier he was out here as an alternate and then after Rob Adelberg got injured in training they put Taka in the mix. He's like, you know what? I'm going to go out here. I'm going to put on a show. He Tonka. was in the top spot earlier with an 82 flat. He now finds himself in that number six position. Pulls as hard as he can off the ramp, just takes the legs off. You see those levers under his handlebars? That's how he gets his body weight back on the motorcycle. Huge from Taka. Huge roller flip. He owns five total Moto X medals overall. Three. Three in freestyle, you can see there, two in best Right trick. there on the handlebars there. He has his wrists on the on the flip levers as we call them. If we can go forward a little bit, he's nearly at full extension now. And there you go, look at that. Coming back around. See that sunset as well? So one rider down, seven left to go. Again, Ronaldo and Jackson Strong sitting in those top two spots, a 97 and a 95.66. And then you got Luke Ackerman sitting in that bronze medal spot with an 88 flat there. Taka had an 82 that first time around. He's going to stick with that first run score. He gets an 80 this time around as we take another look here at Benny Richards. He had an 81.33, got him in that number seven spot here. Showing off the super kick to the rider's right. Another smooth double back foot there for Benny. Awesome to see out of the young guy. Competed in the last two freestyle events at Axel's house. Didn't have the best first year, but really redeemed himself last year with a solid bag of tricks. And here he is again in best trick. Lucky for Benny, he's got a lot of years ahead of him for all those old, old guys are on the way out and Benny is right there to take the throne. Yeah, 2021 was his uh, rookie appearance there in freestyle and uh, he got stacked up. He had, was one of the first riders to go, had to settle for eighth, but great job out here tonight in Moto X Best Trick. He also asked me to mention that he's single and looking to mingle. <laughs> Amazing. Nice and smooth. See that... Uh, Shout out from the fan there. Huge airs going down on the vert ramp and Moto X best trick. Loving the beach in the background. So are we. Beautiful setting. I mean, the sunset, the background. I mean, you couldn't ask for a better backdrop to do this out here tonight. It is an absolute packed house out here. This is J.O. Archer currently sitting in fifth place. He had an 86 flat from that first go around. Now he Going does for have, the double backflip. He does have variations for the double flip. Just depends how comfortable he's feeling. Did that off the next gen ramp, and he's under power on the left side. So he can that ramp again. No handed hand double hand flip. flip. <laughs> yes, no handed double backflip off the next generation ramp. That is a world's first. I thought. He looked like he was maybe going to loop out on that one, but manages to save that one again. So two for two on the saves right there for J.O. Archer, and he is fired up. He's happy with that, and he should be. He's had a rough couple of goes the last year at Best Trick, but to stomp that one, I know he's been real nervous about it, but take your hat off, Joe. That was amazing. Yeah, his only other appearance was in 2021. He settled for six. 
gonna have a look at that one in the replay. See how far along he held his hands off for. On the first rotation, that is a huge no-hander. Huge from Jay, almost a little bit over-rotated, but he, yeah, check it out now. Watch that right foot Full, as well. Fully extended, no-handed double. Tucks his head back in, spins, spots the landing once. You'll see him stretch out now to slow down that rotation, hit the rear brake. And he's gonna land pretty heavy there, pretty heavy on the rear wheel. You see the rear wheel's already down. And then, boom, foot comes off, but yep. he holds onto that. Yeah, that well done. Right foot just dabs a little bit right there, but he's able to hang on to the grips and ride away. That is two for two Whoa! on the saves right there. And breathing a huge sigh of relief right there. So he's gonna end up with an 89.33. Uh, yeah. Guess what, that gets you out of fifth. That puts J.O. Archer in the medals right now. He just overtook Luke Ackerman and put himself in a bronze Whoa, medal spot. It. That is awesome, that is innovation, getting him over the line. That is the first, first in competition, 75 foot double back foot, and with a combo, the no-hander. That was awesome. I don't know if he's near a monitor right now. I don't think he realized he just jumped up into third right now. He was looking at the camera, but Luke Ackerman gets bumped down to fourth, but he's going to get a chance to answer back right now. Yeah, I wonder if he has a front flip variation he's been working on. No, no. No. Bit of a boner there from Luke. I think he, uh, I think he's happy with his first run. I mean, sometimes you'll see these guys, the trick they're doing in Vestry is so gnarly and they've practiced so much into the foam pit and airbag and they're taking a huge risk to do it in competition. And if they land at their first run, hey, you can't sweat them when they don't do it in their second run because uh, these tricks are all gnarly. Good no-footer, though. No-footer one-hander? What I do mean, you think, listen, Jimmy? That one's for all the fans right there in the yeah. viewing corral. I mean, good extension. You got a good look at it right there with the flow motion there. But yeah, going back to what you were saying, I mean, it's all about self-preservation and some of these guys, you know, riding in uh, best whip tomorrow night as well. And like you said, I mean, it's just some of the, the stuff that they're doing nowadays is so insane. And to come out and get it done in the first round, I mean, you know, it's the pressure's off at that point. Why risk it? So Harry Bink, Ended up coming up a little short on the rotation there on the front foot the last go around. And we talked about just the toughness that this man has to get back up and get back into the lineup here. I, I, I'm surprised that he's even going to take a second run. Yeah, I mean, Harry's so strong mentally and physically. And, you know, he's got the eye of the tiger right now. He wants to redeem himself. And, uh, you know, he's he's definitely, I think he's going to pull this one off. Did you just get an eye of the tiger reference Yeah, I get eye of the tiger. But taking a look at your current leader right there, that is David Ronaldo, your 2019 gold medalist. He's looking at the potential gold medal here in 2023. He has a 97 flat. Jackson Strong sitting in second. J.O. Archer now in third. Harry getting himself psyched up for this. Come on, Harry. Lining it up here. Harry Big under power. He's got it. Oh, heavy impact there for Harry. And he's up, he's on his feet. I mean, to under rotate the first one, and then to get thrown over the bars and just kind of ragdoll to your right hand side on the second one, and to bounce back up like that. I mean, that is two huge knocks for Harry Bink right there. And he gets up like a trooper and rides away. That is the level we are at in Freestyle Moto X these days. It's insane what you have to do and to Moto compete. That's trick. part of the reason I'm here in the booth with you, Jimmy, but... It's a little safer up here. It's much safer. So, yeah, you see Harry there, he under-rotated a little bit on his first one, and maybe he gave a little bit too much gas, and he went a little long there. It seemed like he had the perfect rotation, but landing at the bottom of that landing is not good. So, well, I mean, in your experience, talk about what it's like after a crash and then try to get yourself into the mindset to come back and do it again after you take a heavy hit like that. Once you've taken that hit, that's all that's in the back of your mind about what happened on the last run. So you need the mental mental strength to block that out. Harry had it done then. I thought he was going to land that one, but obviously went a little fast. This is the last rider in the lineup that can shake up our top three because the final two riders are already in. It's Josh Sheen coming in for a second final attempt. Big no hand up and smoother that time, much smoother. So remember, he kind of squeaked that one around in run at number one and kind of scrubbed the front tire a little bit. He's fired up there. I think Listen to that reaction from the fans. I think he's revving the bike for the crowd. We just can't hear it. Sounds like a blender. It looks good, though, Shaney. Arms off for a lot longer than the first one. Massive no-hander there. Grabbed straight onto the bars. Oh, you, you gave him an awesome that go around. I gave him an awesome. 
That's just awesome to see. I mean, some people are hating on the electric bikes, but that's the future of dirt bikes right there. I mean, there's no hate. When you can do a double backflip like that, put it down like a boss, but he was in fifth place pre-run with an 86.66, so an 88.66, that'll bump him up over Luke Ackerman, put him up into that number four spot, so you know what that means. There's only two riders left to go. J.L. Archer is going to earn himself a medal. Look at that message, lucky audience. The level today is sick. It truly is. We saw two never been done before. With Ray now. David Ronaldo. Jackson strong it out, J.O. Archer on that next gen ramp. David Ronaldo, your current leader I think with that 97. Mm. Not sure what he's gonna do, if he's gonna do it again. Mm. What do you think, Jimmy? I mentioned earlier how, how risky some of these tricks are. If they pull it off in their first run, they usually don't do it twice, so. I think this one's gonna be a celebration run for him. He's just got a t-shirt on, so definitely yeah. I think it's gonna be a celebration run. Taking it to the right side there. You know, to do a Cali roll as your safety run, again, just to go back to what I was saying earlier, the, the level that we're at right now. That was all for the fans, that was. That's awesome to see. Well done, David. And, it, and again, to tell the tale of what he did in 2019, that was a body burial in a backflip. He wants another job. Going for more. I mean, that would look like a little bit of Mike Mason in there to a sea crab. Putting on a show out here. Obviously, that last one not gonna count, but look at this with the Cali roll right here, grabbing this cutout, just slingshot yourself around. <laughs> Forget the flips, let's see some body rolls by David Ronaldo. Well, guess what? He delivered. He's in the top spot with a 97 flat, probably walking out here with a gold medal. That was the trick he did in 2018 Minneapolis in a backflip. The backflip Cali roll. Can't remember what he called it. Can you remember, Jimmy? No, he, uh, he comes up with these crazy names. He had the one that he did in 2021, he called the Bobby. I'll have to go back and look at the tape. But again, in the backflip with the body burial there. And then he brings a version of the Corolla to the party in 2023 and gets a 97 flat with one more rider to go. So, And not just any rider. We've got Jackson Strong, the most dominant rider in X Games, best trick in history. With seven gold medals. Can he add to that tally? He's he had a 95.6. I mean, a, a cliffhanger in the middle of a front flip. He's taken gold seven times in this event. He's on the to go. Did he do it again? A little bigger. A little bigger. Little bigger. Okay. You teed that one up earlier about the extension on that one. That looked better than the first one. I saw you work in the slide that time around. You're giving him an awesome? Yeah, we give him an I awesome for that one. And he's pretty happy with it too, as he should be. Clap your hands, stomp your feet, make some noise for the boys. I will happy to say that everybody's walking out of here nice, safe and sound. That's awesome to see. And we did see some gnarly stuff tonight. Yeah, and speaking of safe and sound, we got to give a shout out and well wishes to Rob Adelberg as well. Yeah, get well soon, Rob. We missed you out there. You see Jacko kicked his legs a little uneven there, but still got him up under the handlebars. The extension, I'm going to say, looked a little better off that one. I agree. I think he was a little more stretched, stretched out. He was kind of bent in the hips a little more in the first one there. Yeah, I'd like to see a slow-mo from the side of that, and I wonder how the judge is going to reward it. He's a full point and a half behind David Ronaldo. You rewarded him with an awesome, if that counts for anything. Was, I thought it was awesome. Hopefully the judges are listening right now. I mean, it's, gonna, go loves it. it's going to be a tough call. I mean, I'm glad it's the judges doing this and not me. I think that was pretty on par. Bigger extension than he did in the first run. I mean, to do that twice out here, I, I didn't think he was going to do it again. But then again, I had to stop myself mid-thought on that one and be like, hey, remember who you're dealing with here. So for him to do that twice out here tonight, so now here comes the big moment. The judges it's all on talking this one over. 96, and it's, it's not good enough. It's going to be a full point behind. However, to do that and get a 96, that means David Ronaldo is going to walk out of here with his second MMX best or Moto X best trick gold medal. But how about the performance by all three of those gentlemen? Ronaldo, Jackson Strong, and J.O. Archer jumping up in the medals on his second and final run. I'm stoked for J.O. I mean, he's, he's been so nervous about this, but putting in all the hard work as we check out another one of Ronaldo, the Kelly Roll, sorry, the court. Corolla, getting confused there. I, it's been a long time since we've had to talk about that one, and there it was, larger than life here in 2023. It almost stalls before he grabs on there. His legs are caught backwards for the last second. Man, that was amazing. Very deserved gold medal there for David Ronaldo, his second in this discipline. 
I mean, to get that one out of the way on the first attempt right there, almost knocking on the door of perfection with a 97. That's Jared McNeil congratulating him. Man, what a contest, Jimmy. So Jay Archer in the second appearance gets a bronze. Let's send it down to Kristen right now with our winner. The writer from France, David Ronaldo. How good does this feel, my friend? Hey, it feels good. I walk a lot for these tricks. My wish was to bring that tricks, that 19 year old tricks back. So I guess, yeah, it's cool. But the funny thing is, I know there's some people talking shit about me lately. Like, Ronaldo is over, Ronaldo is done, yeah. But look, this one. Yeah, surprise, surprise, motherfucker. Guess who's back? We so, apologize for the colorful language there, yeah. but um, he's excited. So there you go. Geo Archer in his second Moto X Best Trick appearance walks out of here with the bronze. It's Jackson Strong taking home the silver, and David Ronaldo claims his second Moto X Best Trick gold. What a performance under the lights out here tonight. We send it over now to home base at Salima Masakela. Ah, uh, thank you, Jimmy. And uh, as you can see, the crowds are heading home. Uh, but they're satisfied. An amazing, amazing day one here at X Games. And we just got treated to a great best trick. I love the fire, love the passion of David Ronaldo. And we are about to shut it down here for day one. But before we go, we're going to check in with uh, Jason, Earl Jason Ellis from earlier today, taking the temperature here in Ventura. Welcome, everybody, to the Pacifico Update. It's a good one, too. I'm talking about Nigel Houston. This guy has 20 X Games medals. One of the greatest street skaters possibly to ever live on this planet. He just had a huge injury. He's bouncing back from a knee injury. And he was in the elimination earlier and he managed to fall off all the way up until his final ride. But in his final ride, he set the park on fire. And that bad boy is qualified and good to go this weekend. So don't miss it. Don't forget to grab your Pacifico for tonight's main event. Head to orderpacifico.com to shop local delivery and pickup.